So, Andrew, what do you think, then, of all this going... Finally, they, 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 this could be the end of Partygate. I'm fear it isn't, actually, oh. because even when Sue Gray's report is published, and that was, you say, will be Tuesday or Wednesday, uh, 36 pages, 300 pages, don't know, they were then going to be subjected to a parliamentary inquiry conducted by a parliamentary committee which is going to investigate whether the Prime Minister misled the, par the House of Commons when he said there were no parties or... To, I was told no rules were broken. So that will drag the whole thing out again. It's going to be chaired by a Labour MP, uh, uh, and that's because there was some jiggery-pokery going on in the Commons and Tory MPs weren't willing to vote against it because they thought it would look like a cover-up. So this is... Sue Gray will be the, the biggest bulk of it, but then we'll have another report, and, of course, that committee might recommend that the Prime Minister is suspended from Parliament, <sighs> and Parliament will then vote on it, and because he's got a large majority, they'll vote not to suspend it, but you might get one or two mavericks who do. So this thing could be dragging on into a long, hot summer. And remember how much the police investigation has cost, Nana? Nearly mm. 500,000 pounds, really? 12 coppers involved, and while crime has been soaring in our great capital city.